Hello there, CodeMaker4 here. So I wanted to make a video about how Minicart is working in the new physics engine. And it led to me doing a bunch of actual like scrap mechanic science. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what science I did, what the conclusions are. They're not good. And what this is going to mean for the Minicart system. And if I will ever make a future version of it. So the new update came with a new physics engine and the scrap mechanic developers actually did a big brain thing for once and they gave us a setting where you can just switch between back and forth between the old uh, physics engines and the new smart engine the thing that they didn't do that well is that the smart physics engine seems to be performing worse um so for those of you who forgot this is minicart and as you can see in the new physics engine it is there are more wobbly than they used to be um, I actually like let this run in the background and it hopped out of its track uh, two times uh, within an hour and that's just with one cart running so if you have 10 carts running that is going to be happening like 20 times in an hour so every three minutes like this is not reliable enough to have fun with anymore um, which is very sad. I wanted to quantify exactly how bad it was and also experiment if the new wedges actually help. So again, for those of you who don't know, Scrap Mechanic, they added new wedges. So if I just quickly kind of build something over here and grab this new wedge block, which you can find in the draggable blocks section. So under the normal blocks, there's draggable versions of everything. And you can just like make custom wedges. The maximum size is like 8x8. Eight eight. Um, so I couldn't make this with one big triangle. I had to split it up. Um, but in hindsight, that's probably good for testing. Because we want to test this gap. Um, so I made this testing setup. Um, it consists of three moving parts. Um, there is this engine. That is applying a torque to this bearing. And the thing of uh, gas engines is that they apply a constant torque. Instead of a constant maximum speed for electric engines. So when I turn on the engine, it will just kind of try to push this little roller thing, which simulates what's going on on the tracks of the minicart, uh, into a set of wedges. So I can extend the piston and it will try to push itself in. Let me slow that down a little. Right, and it's kind of rolling along the side and I can make it go upside down to test the old wedges to make a comparison. So what I did is for every combination of old wedges and new wedges versus old physics engine and new physics engine in the in the settings over here, I tested how much uh, force or torque from the gas engine uh, it could handle before this roller would like get glitched out inside of there. So I can show that if I set this to like six or something, it gets stuck. Um, yeah exactly <laughs> um and i put the result on the graph and the graph my friends it looks like this so on the left here we have a graph for the old one by one wedges and the height here represents the amount of gas engine force that was safe that was reliable so 12 is the maximum force a gas engine could apply and zero means that even with gas engine force of one, it would get glitched out. And force is zero, of course, means that it's not applying any force. So, so that's how you can interpret these results. Of course, higher is always better. Uh, the side here is the piston speed setting. So if the piston is going faster, you can see that the performance goes down for the old wedges. And as you can see, in almost every case, the red line of the new physics is performing worse than the blue line for the old physics. In fact, after a certain speeds, the new physics is just physically unable to keep the roller on the correct side of the wedges, whilst the old physics engine could still do fine at these speeds. With the new larger ramps, it always seems to be performing better, even in the old physics engine as in the new physics engine. But again, the old physics engine is more reliable. In fact, it was a pretty interesting effect where uh, at higher piston speeds, the, re the reliability seems to be improving. 
the reason I think this happens is that when you're bumping really fast kind of into the side of a large wedge, uh, it's really easy for the game to calculate that like it's, it's really hard because the wedge is larger to kind of get behind the wedge in a single tick. So and once you're going in the correct direction, um, you, you'll have momentum on your side. Whilst with these smaller wedges, like if you just start slamming into it, um, it you'll just get go through immediately to behind the first wedge and get stuck. Uh, but again, the new physics engine does not perform well. So this means that Minikart, as it is right now, doesn't work with the new physics engine. I had to add comments under and edit the description of my old uh, Minikart and Autocart videos um, describing that you need to use the old physics settings because then they still seem to be working fine. Oh, you saw it happen there. And it put itself back this time. So of course the question is, what does this mean for something like Minikart? I'm gonna, it's going to mean that Minikart is going to need to have a new type of rail system. The lag improvements of course uh, mean that I can make a larger uh, rail network, but I can only make a large rail network if it's actually reliable. Otherwise the maintenance of like putting all of the tracks, putting all of the carts back in place is too much. So to make a more reliable system, it's probably better to use the new larger wedges. Of course, this test doesn't take into account the fact that we can make uh, uh, more smoothly sloped angles. The old wedges uh, only allowed 45 degree turns immediately. Also here we can make much smoother curves. The wedges are larger, which is better in both physics engines. So the new physics engine with the new wedges is better than the old physics engine with the old wedges. Um, just slightly, but it, it is better, especially at higher speeds. So uh, on some point it is promising, but on the other hand it is not because like there are small wedges are still kind of inevitable. I will need them at some point. And if every wedge kind of introduces it quite the non-zero chance that the cart will just pop out of the track, then that's bad. Um, I have also been thinking about like complete, complete new ways to redesign the tracks. Perhaps the s single small pipe roller is just a bad idea. Um, and uh, it's better to kind of go under the track and have a much bigger, thicker roller that doesn't get stuck as easily. Because generally, like, larger collision boxes just work better. Um, so anyway, such as, like, a quick update video on the physics engine. Uh, conclusions are that the physics engine is... Oh. Conclusions are that the physics engine is measurably worse, both in lab conditions and in practice, because this did not happen back in the day. I can tell you that. For, just like look at my videos from the minicard back in the day. Like those systems were running reliable for like an hour at least, with multiple cars coming around the tracks. And if one of them failed like this, the entire system would grind to a halt immediately. Whilst here, it's just like. Every 20 minutes or so, every 10 or 20 minutes, it just like get pops out of the track immediately, completely, and gets stuck. Um, so the physics engine is measurably less reliable, both in the lab conditions and in practice. But the new wedges kind of give us a way to at least get comparable performance compared to back in the day, um, co compared to with the old physics engine. So it, it requires more experimentation. And it will require new techniques, because the old ones no longer work. Of course, the old techniques should work, a physics engine shouldn't do stuff like this. But, like, if you want to reduce lag in a physics engine, you have to reduce the amount of times you actually compute a collision. Uh, so, Scrap Mechan so Axelot, they decided to reduce lag, which means that they can calculate less collisions. And sometimes they're going to miss something, and it confuses the physics engine. Uh, and stuff like this happens. So it's, yeah, Axel decided for the compromise and we're just going to have to deal with it. And again, it does mean that we can have more cards before the game starts to lag. So there's pros, there's cons to the new physics engine. I'm Codemaker4, go to my Discord server. Um, I still don't really have an outro yet. So, like, bye, I guess. Oh, yeah, please subscribe.